Caleb's already dug in. This is the first time I've ever had a Woody in my mouth. It is hot. Yeah, it, this thing smells delightful. I'm ready to see that Woody in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I need well, to get thumbnail. Enough for this son of a bitch. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. No napkins. I'm not a pickle guy either, neither. Oh, I like pickles, but not too much. Mm -hmm. Dude, those are... This is a damn good burger. Oh so welcome to the Gristled Up Podcast. Welcome to the Gristled Up Podcast. <laughs> uh, as always, I'm Cody. Sean. I'm Caleb. What are you doing there, Sean? Eating these chips. Mm. You gonna hurry up? We're I'll just do it slowly. Okay. <clears throat> we had that propped up for a reason. Remember I was trying to prop it up more. That's Season. it, I'm out. Huh? Yeah. We're doing something big. We are? Yeah. Why don't you let our viewers know what we're doing? When this video posts, it'll be Tuesday, February 27th, 2024. We will post this at 6 p.m. We are running a giveaway for a Woods Event Center and Bar t-shirt and a Woods Event Center and Bar cooler. Now the cooler holds, what was it, 12 cans and or six bottles? Yep. yep. And it conveniently fits in a golf cart. On a golf cart. In, um, you can really do whatever you want with it, I'm sure. It's true. It's not a large cooler, but it's the right size. Just for you. In order to win the t-shirt and the cooler, you need to like the Gristled Up Facebook page, and then you need to share the video that we post at 6 p.m. on February 27th. The following will end Friday <laughs> at 6 p.m. We will grab a random winner that meets both the criterias, and you will win a Woods Event Center and Bar t-shirt, and... A cooler. Cody, you got those on stock over there? Why don't you just bring what? those bad boys I mean, in and let people like see Let me move do. my drink for this big cooler you got coming. Well, first it's the t-shirt, so. Oh. Here, and let them read. Kind of like, I, mean, I don't have one on, which I have one on because they're a very comfortable shirt. They are. It's a super comfortable shirt. Whoever does win, it does come with a... Woods Event Center and Bar business card. And a QR code case. on the back. I love QR codes. They're cool. You never yeah. know whenever you just want to get married and spend thousands yeah. of dollars. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what says I love you then? Going into massive debt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's probably. I don't know. It's beautiful. It is at a great venue. It is beautiful here. It is. Um... Not only is it a wonderful place to get married, but the, the burgers, which you have now seen, they also have tacos on Wednesday night from 5 to 8, mm -hmm. which I believe we are going to do a review on those. Those. Really? Those. 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 <laughs> those at some point. Yeah. Here in the near future. Uh, we can hope anyways. Yeah. Because if they're as good as the burgers are. Yeah. Yeah, the burgers are pretty perfect. Phenomenal. Um, you go to McDonald's and you pay the same price you get a burger that's oh, yeah. a third of that, what that was you get a smash burger for nine dollars with a side of Lay's potato chips this is a loaded down burger <laughs> lettuce, tomato, onion and two slips of pickle <laughs> that right there is enough to make a holler it hey eat it and, I mean, real talk, we, the three of us went with the devil, and oh, yeah. I am comfortably full. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, again, back to comparing it to McDonald's. Like, McDonald's, um... I'm going to leave a you ring. Know, you know, oh, sorry. Sorry, Corp. Um, you know, when you're done, you're like, God, you know, I could use a little bit more fries or, um, you know, go get a shake or something. But that, I didn't feel that. So this ties into the cornbread mafia. 
<laughs> yeah, had you a lot, had a lot of you on a hook there, <laughs> hook, line, and sinker, and let a lot of you down. So, you know how I was talking about Long John Silvers? You never know how the doors are still open? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want to think of another place that's like that? KFC. Yeah. Ooh, Popeyes is definitely. Guarantee KFC's laundering money. Well. About has to. So somebody brought this up that I know the other day, which restored the faith in why KFC is still open to me. Actually, yesterday. Anywhere but the place that we live, KFCs are combined with Taco Bell. So it's one of those where you go in, you get a taco, and you can get chicken. So that's, that's where they're winning. So I don't that think... Court? <laughs> I don't Tacos think. and chicken. <laughs> it is pretty rare. Like we have a full KFC and a Taco Bell. Yeah, that's um, true. I never looked at it that way. Same. Yeah. So when I was little, I uh, I used to think that like whenever you seen black and white movies or TV shows, I used to think the world was in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> So, I remember asking my mom one time, I'm like, so when when did everything, like, start being in color? And she's like, what the hell are you talking about? You know? Like the 60s. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm like, no, I mean, like, you know, everything used to be in black and white. And she just looked at me like I was an idiot. <laughs> and then I got to realize, and I'm like, oh, it's only because the camera <laughs> shot black and white. That I thought the world was black and white. So to me, it's crazy to look back now at like and just try and put yourself in those shoes, like thinking back what what it used shit used to look like. <laughs> shit used to look like back in the day. <laughs> well, um, it's the child imagination. Yeah, you know, or just them being so naive. I guess. Yeah. Like, you don't know shit. So everything is just mind-blowing. Yeah, that that's point. true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to, to add on to that, it is wild, like, thinking, like, when I was thinking the same things like that, you know, my parents were probably, like, a little bit older than I am now, and it's, like, crazy that Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, man, I don't even know what I'm doing. So they didn't either. And it's like that's something that's crazy. Whenever you raise a kid, because you don't get a handbook on how right. to do no, it. No, you certainly you're, don't, and it is know, tough. You're I growing mean, up. Oh, yeah. while, you're growing up while your kid's growing up, and that's something you don't think about until not only that you've had a kid, but once you get a little bit older, obviously you. I mean, you've been around kids. I'm not saying you have no idea, but I'm just saying like. To have a kid of your own and to think back at like stuff that my parents used to do for us and you know you almost think like well, why why did they do this or why did that happen it's like i look at it now and i'm like i oh, know that, why yeah. i mean i don't yeah. even think you have to have a kid to, to understand that yeah um, it's just it's part of growing up yeah it's definitely i look back and i'm like god you know i don't think anybody knows what they're doing in their entire life you know really oh, no. Honestly, yeah, like, that's true. Um, you know, it, I remember being younger and just thinking like, oh, you know, they know exactly what to do. And it was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Growing up, you see, like, you think of your parents and it's like they had everything planned out to a T. Yeah. It all yes. worked out for yes. them. And now that we're in their boots, <laughs> we got, well, <laughs> Caleb and I had small kids. It's like they're looking at us going, ah, mommy and daddy have it figured out. And while we're sitting there like, <gasps> We got no food. We got no jobs. Our pets' heads are falling off. Yeah, no kid. Yeah. It's just the like the yeah, it's weird a, shit that you worry about. Mm. Well, it's yeah. yeah, it's like you know, I was busy going to play Wii Sports, and they were thinking about you know how the hell are we gonna get groceries? And how <laughs> yeah. the hell are we gonna? It's like yeah. oh, strike. <laughs> yeah. So we. I hate my fucking parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do nothing for me. It's like. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's I it's funny. I make jokes about it now. My mom always like whenever we were little, she would always give us life lessons that she's learned along the way that, you know, as a kid <laughs> Yeah, it's like 
<laughs> well, she's talking, but now it's like everything that she's told me has been a hundred percent true, mm-hmm. and I, you know, so, I need to learn from that. So then, like, anytime my mom watches my daughter, I'm always like, anything Grammy tells you, remember that shit, because she ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> and she ain't even listening to you. Yeah, she so. has no clue what's going on. She's like, she's like hi. <laughs> <laughs> Destruction. Yeah. Yeah. So, so my of, finger in this socket? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, big guy. <laughs> so... It almost been, what's your guys' opinion on if we were actually born old and then progressed to being young? Was that the pinch and roll? <laughs> well, <laughs> the I, was, I was just kind of caressing, yeah. trying to caress, and my, my hand's really fat, so that's going to look great on camera. <laughs> <laughs> your hands aren't fat. You're chubby, okay? No, turn no, I ask your question again because I wasn't listening. <laughs> well, odds are none of anything I say is being listened to. Um, Next if, episode will feature Tyler. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Probably. I'm totally kidding. Um, <laughs> is it temporary? Find out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if do you think it should be the other way? Like what do you mean? No, like born old and yeah. It's like Benjamin Button. I never watched the movie. I think it should be like. like That's interesting. I've never looked up. Would you get your knowledge? Would you have your knowledge though when you're a kid, or do you go from being wise to knowing nothing? That kind of plays into that whole uh, red pill, blue pill. Mm -hmm. Second episode that we did before. Because I mean, ignorance is bliss. So even if you were looking at, oh, as I get older, you know, I would. In that aspect, I would still like to be born not knowing a damn thing. Because being a child, you can't have you any don't, fun if you're if right. You're you don't want to take the imagination away from a kid. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, just watching my daughter run around and play, it's just wild. Some of the weird shit she comes up with. Yeah. <laughs> and if she was born with a 50-year-old's mentality, you wouldn't get near the wouldn't joy. wouldn't be fun at all. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, you want to play Monopoly? Fuck no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay. We got bills that need paid. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Caleb's more accurate. Yours, there's still a possibility she says that to you, but it's hilarious when a two-year-old says, fuck, shit, damn. It's like, daddy really needs to watch his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Using that as a comma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm mad about it. When your two year old's walking through the kitchen, she drops her teddy bear and goes, Damn it. It's like, Ooh, she listens too much. <laughs> yeah. Start wearing earmuffs around this house. Yeah. yeah. She can't say, I'm hungry, but she can say, Damn it, in the right sense. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I can taste the lime in this, and it's just fantastic. Yeah. I'm sorry to go off on a tangent. Christina, if you're watching this, I appreciate you throwing this lime in here. Yeah, that's delicious. I didn't think that would add, but it adds. It does add. It's like a pecan to an Oreo. But anyway. I'll have to insert that clip. It adds. <laughs> yes. It's pecan to an Oreo. Yeah, that's... Uh, it's amazing whenever you grow up, which we've, we've kind of touched on that before. Just growing up, you don't realize certain things. Mm-hmm. But when it's unfortunate, like, I don't know, like you guys would probably feel better if your kids could, you know, understand a little bit better on what's going on. So then they're like, hey, thank you. You know, um, it was your phone. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been. Can't argue with that. Might have been. <laughs> Uh, see but that goes back to the whole like it's a double edged sword yes it would be nice if she could communicate better but that's only at times when the times are kind of bad Yeah, you know what I'm saying like if she's sitting there crying I want her to be able to tell me what's wrong yeah, yeah. why she's but what she's crying for I also like the times where she's in the playroom and you just sit there and listen to her from across the house and she's mumbling something you have yeah. no clue what she's talking about but she knows exactly what she's doing or thinks she does and it's hilarious well yeah. do you are you guys able to remember 
a lot of your childhood. Some people aren't. But I remember like all the way back till three, like age three. I have memories from And I just, but when I, I think about it, it's like, almost like thinking about Disneyland, you know? It's like, it, it was just, there was no, uh, it was just, you wake up, eat your Cheez-Its and. Uh, yeah, I remember, like it's not a time lapse by any means, but like I remember way back when, when I was a little feller. But yeah, I do to a certain extent, and then like the rest of the memories I have for a long time, like every year we would get our family videos out and watch them. Oh, and yeah, watch I pictures. love that. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if some of my memories are just from watching those videos or if I actually do remember them, but like old Christmas videos, that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about when like. I was eight years old again. I don't want to know. I don't want to know some of the stuff I know now. Like, yeah. if I got a Power Ranger for Christmas, I want it to blow my damn mind. <laughs> yeah. No like, kidding. it's just a lump of plastic that means absolutely nothing. But yeah. You're running around as a small child with a brand new Red right. Ranger. Yeah. And just, it's the best gift you could have ever gotten. Uh,. Something as a kid that I always thought about was like superpowers. Like if you had a superpower, what would you do with it? I, it depends on what the superpower is, but you know, every every little boy is like, oh, X-ray, you know. Yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> but uh, and then every adult's like, X-ray. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I've always thought the uh, uh, invincibility. You know, I think a lot of people think that too but i think it would be neat like a hurricane or a tornado or something just to see what it's like but on the opposite side of that yes it would be cool to live through something that catastrophic and just be like this is what it's like but you also have to deal with the thought of knowing you have outlived everybody that's fair. <laughs> well, and also, just because you're... I'll throw some morbid at you. <laughs> <laughs> just because you're invincible doesn't mean you didn't suffer through it. That's also... You well, know, you're sitting there so drowning like, in a hurricane or something. Like, so like even though you're going to live it out, you're still... <laughs> that's that's. It's fair. like I got a like, Hot Wheels stuck in my fucking throat. And <laughs> the way, ocean water. Well, I lived, it still sucked. <laughs> yeah, see, the way I look at invincibility is like... You know, nothing can hurt you. So, like, oh, even if you're see, suffering. I look at it as just dying. Right. Like, you can't die. Yeah. And that's where that's I'm true. at. Like, yeah. like I said, it'd be cool to live through some of that stuff for, like, you see Superman fighting all these great big bad supervillains, but at the end of the day, he outlives everyone as well. So yeah. then, the love of your life here, she died 200 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It'd be a cool really for, dark side. It'd be cool for a day or two for me. I'll give you that. I would go... Like, give me a week of just doing the absolute dumbest <laughs> shit that I could <laughs> yeah. find. Okay, so that leads to the other thing. So if you were invincible for a day, what would you go do? Hmm. Just a day? Yeah. Just, well, not today. Let's say tomorrow, because today's going to end soon. Well, I only got like four hours left. <laughs> that's a lot to do in four hours. Yeah. <clears throat> See, that's the downside. There's other questions to be asked. Like, you get 24 hours to be completely indestructible, and you have access to anything you want. Yeah. Ooh. Some billionaire. You got fucking some Batman money. Some event center owner. <laughs> Sponsors you. Where's that business card? <laughs> We're talking merger. <laughs> you know what I'd do? I'd <clears throat> be on an episode of Wipeout. Remember that show? Yeah. Yes. I re not Wipeout, but I remember Scarred. Oh, God, Scarred. What about uh, XMC? Is it XMC? 
It's like a Chinese or Japanese. Oh, thing. There's yeah. like a hundred people running <laughs> up a hill and like a hundred... <laughs> Just boulders falling down and running them over. And... Cheese wheel. We talked about that. Yeah, well. there's like little pockets they can spare off in. They're like, oh, no, 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 I don't know what that is. It's is. like American Ninja Warrior. Oh, da, 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 go. Oh, da, da, da. Oh, da, 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 da. Awesome. YouTube clips of it. It is All I can think of is the cheese wheel run, which we talked about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's the only thing you would do? Wipeout. Um, Wipeout would be fun. Uh, I mean, there's tons of things. I'd, I'd probably go yell at... There's a cart pusher we've got at Walmart. Here. <laughs> uh, pisses me off every time I'm there. Because he's always mumbling shit. And he's mean. He's mean. And I'd probably go fucking yell at him a couple times. <laughs> I chose fish photographs in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear no bell. Every time I go there, I'm like, I've got a job. I've probably got kids out there I need to be saving up for. Um, yeah, fuck you, cart pusher, if you're watching this shit. I don't like you. Steve Harvey. <laughs> All right. What? He's our next guest. He's the man. General Ortega is our next guest. Anyway. Wow. So Wednesday what, Adams herself. Yes. Well, well, let's ask that question real quick since it was mentioned. Who's the real Wednesday Adams? Jenna Ortega or Christina Ricci? Christina Ricci? Oh, yeah, that is. Was that from the old, like mm -hmm. the old? Oh, she's always going to be the original. Well, that's... Like but I think Wednesday, days. I think she did a great job of, you know... Oh, yeah. That's serious. Isn't it? It's like if one day... <laughs> You were some kid, like that. It's good one. <laughs> if, if one day some kids were like, "Man, we want to be like that gristled up podcast guys," and, you know, it's like, don't do that. Yeah, don't do, that. <laughs> do not live our bankruptcy lives. is not fun. <laughs> Although I would never change a single thing about my life. Do no. not live my yeah. life. If your goals are to live like us, you are shooting for the floor, kid. <laughs> yeah. Stars yeah. are way up there. The bottom's down there, bud. Sir, <laughs> at the bottom, we're still here. Yeah. Uh, All right, now what's your question? <laughs> who is Batman to you? Ooh. Uh, what's his face? The played the machinist. Wouldn't he Christian Bale? Yeah. No. Heath Ledger. You mean, I know he's, he's the Joker. Ready to say, Hold on. <laughs> Heath Ledger is the Joker. Who was it? Uh, yeah, the, yeah, sorry. Joker is Heath Ledger. Now, I Batman, saying, probably Christian Bale. Joaquin Phoenix mm -hmm. was awesome. Mark Hamill. Joker. Luke Skywalker okay. himself does a great job as the Joker. Well, I In the animated series. Heath Ledger was... And then Joaquin Phoenix did a great that, job of... Oh, that yeah. was a good movie. I mean, it like just we're we're putting Batman here. <laughs> we're Batman. talking about wants so many movie rants. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, it's something easy to relate to. For him. Uh, yeah. I really enjoy Adam West. <laughs> Wasn't he the governor and uh, family guy? <laughs> He's the mayor. Mayor. <laughs> Adam West. Wasn't mayor that his... Adam West. <laughs> <laughs> This is the same guy? Yeah. You didn't, oh, I didn't know that. Really? Yeah, I thought they were. Yeah, from the... Oh, when was that? It was the 60s or 70s in yeah. the original series, like the live-action series. I need to watch them. The older ones. It is cheesy as fuck, oh, but I... it is so enjoyable. But, as far as the movies go, I would have to rank them like Michael Keaton and Christian Bale. George Clooney's my bottom. I'm not a fucking George Clooney fan in the Batman. He movies. plays Batman? Oh, my young Padawan. I don't watch fucking superhero shit. The only Batman movie that I have watched is Christian Bale and Heath Ledger. How could you ask that question and not know the Batman? Because he is my Batman. Hmm. <laughs> Can you say it with the voice, though? He is my Batman. Say it a little louder. I don't think they <laughs> Not without coughing, I can't chump it. <laughs> that's, that's what he says in neighbors. Oh, Batman. <laughs> no, I'm Batman. Oh, Batman. All right, uh, 
not to change the subject if you guys aren't ready. Oh, uh, ready for it. Favorite Spider-Man? Mm. Ah, I'm not a Spider-Man guy. The only person I can think of is, uh, you know who I'm talking about, Tobey Maguire. Is that it? Nah. Okay. No, That's the only Spider-Man I like the I new one. What's his name? Tom Holland? Yeah. I like him. Young guy, you know. You know the only Spider-Man I've ever seen is... I like Andrew Garfield. I brought my dough. <laughs> <laughs> the only uh, Spider-Man I've ever Spider-Man seen is three. Was he? What? Uh, I think yeah. I know who you're talking about. He was good. And I then, like him because he was the nerdy kid. There was another one. What was his name? Those were the three biggies. I don't know yeah. who did the animated series. I can't remember either. Not a big Spider-Man guy yeah. either, but I knew that was a hot topic. Sure. But Tom Holland all the way. Okay. Oh, I like his movies. I think he's funny. He is. I think he's, I think he's funny. <laughs> he's a funny little fella. Who's Tom Holland? Oh, the new you know, young, young, pretty. <laughs> Did you watch James. Uncharted? No. Young, pretty. Pr- I think I know gifted. who he is, but I don't know if I do. Gifted actor. Seems like a dweeb. <laughs> he is, but that's the cool thing about it. You don't think Toby <laughs> McGuire was a dweeb? That motherfucker. <laughs> I was eight years old thinking, God, I want to kick this guy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> if he wasn't Spider-Man, Get I'd fight this by guy. a spider. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> he gets superpowers. I get bit by a spider. I'm in the ER for a week. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking dweeb. <laughs> what did you say? Wolf spiders? Is that what you said? Always be Wolf again? spiders? <laughs> yeah, at your mom's house in the basement. Wolf spiders? How do you know that's where they were? You talked about it before. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> I love that I tell you stuff about your life and you're like mind blown. You're like there's this is at least voodoo. eight videos of your life. <laughs> We're gonna change this to Sean's life podcast. You know what's sad is it turned to a point where it was like, oh, that's that wolf spider isn't even big compared to some of them, so I'm not that worried. As I'm going to go to sleep. As he's sitting in a saddle riding one. <laughs> oh, that's just a little guy over there. You had a, Come on, Simba! You had another kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. Will you go grab my Cheez-Its? <laughs> no. Oh, boy. As always, this has been the... Is this all going to be on here? No, no we're, we're cutting it out. All right, now we're going to have to redo it. I wouldn't have talked about that boil on my back. <laughs> <laughs> so, as always, please like, subscribe, share our videos. Follow us on Facebook, Wrestled Up Podcast. Remember, the merch. You can get a Woods t-shirt, a Woods cooler, Court's business card. That's the most expensive piece to all this, I'm sure. Sean, but go ahead and model you get all that for you. if you like... What did I say? This is what it would look like if you were 6'2". Except you're sitting down and you probably can't see a majority of it. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're going to move. God, these floors are so clean you can barely even You can't even move the chair. Yeah. You're, Don't ding up that drywall. Yeah, yeah goddamn. Well, we can't afford I was just that telling you. Fella. Well, you got it. <laughs> All right, sit back down. You got it. Go ahead. You got it. Uh, no, like we were saying, though, you like the Gristled Up Podcast Facebook page, and then you share our video posted February 27th at 6 p.m., and that goes until Friday of the same week at 6 p.m., you will be entered to win a t-shirt and a cooler. I mean, who wouldn't want a t-shirt and a cooler? I mean, I got hundreds, and I'll take another one. Exactly. T-shirts, not coolers. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, They look, and it's like, Sean didn't even like or share it. He <laughs> didn't want a fucking cooler. <laughs> I would take it, though. But... Does that count for us? What happened to your throat right there? <laughs> I heard that. There's a little, a little indoor burp. Indoor burp. <laughs> You've heard of an indoor water park. It's the same thing. It's basically the same. <laughs> but uh, like and subscribe on our YouTube. We've got an Instagram. It's uh, at Grossled Up. Yeah, it's at Grossled Up Podcast, all lowercase, all together. And, uh, 
<clears throat> I think that's about all we got, boys. I'm good with it. On to the next episode. We want to thank our sponsor, Court Mailer and Sarah Mailer, the Woods Event Center and Bar, for uh, letting us sit here and chow down on some burgers and dirty up your groom room. Yeah. And, Sorry, uh, Sean eats like a child. I ate it off the fucking floor, so it's clean again. I might have to edit that clip in of you just... <laughs> and again, just right? put an arrow, this was on my Just to floor. be sure, I wouldn't normally do that, but if they could see this room, they would realize yeah, it that is it is fucking clean. Yeah. You know, I don't know. while we're sitting, off the wall. While we're sitting here, Lord. I want to give a shout out to B&E. B&E Heating he and cooling. cooling. Because you guys can't see it, but they did such a phenomenal job. Oh yeah, running this heating and air. Don't you know a guy? I. You know what? I think I do know a guy. Riley, you did a mediocre job. Do better. Jimmy, you did phenomenal. I'm gonna cut in that picture of Riley you sent from Halloween. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd have done that. Which in the picture quarter was that? Episode. Don't worry about it. You'll see it when the episode drops. Remember, I put the little heart by it just randomly throughout the episode a couple times. Put Riley and put the. You don't watch the episodes, no. do you? No. Yeah, you want to. You want to criticize everything, but <laughs> you don't want to be a part of it. Who watches this shit anyway? <laughs> <laughs> this is all watch. Based on our view from nobody. <laughs> Court's like, yeah, these guys did great this one. <laughs> Two views. <laughs> he gets to the end of the episode, he's like, yeah, you really fucking fumbled it right there. The two. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and they fucking lost it again. <laughs> you, you guys just fuck up six or seven more times, you're going to lose your sponsorship. No shit. Well, good news is if that happens, it's going to get us to August. Hey, I'm so. going to need those shirts back. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, tough break. Really You're right. Those back. As always, I'm Cody. I never go next. I want you to go next this time. I said as always, not as this one time. <laughs> Come on. I'm getting repressed. As this one time, I'm Cody. I'm Caleb. And you fucked it up. I'm sure. <laughs> Leave it. Just leave it. I'm shocked. Yeah. This is a good